The mood is about to change here in Chicago as the steel cage will be lowered and these two legit badasses will be locked inside to settle the score. The following is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the original bro, Matt Real. It has been a banner year for the original bro, winning the Royal Rumble match, defeating Randy Orton not once but twice to win the WWE title, retain the gold over Karrion Cross, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and even the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. That one victory for Riddle has led him to weeks upon weeks of brawls and ambushes with the Beast, and tonight, Riddle must face his demons. Demons in the form of the most dangerous alpha male of our species known to man. Riddle is ready for action, but here comes the pain. The beast, the conqueror, the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. To put in perspective the legend that is Brock Lesnar, 21 years ago at Unforgiven, September of 2002, Lesnar went one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker for the undisputed WWE Championship and walked out with his title. All these years later, a decorated career. Brock Lesnar does not give any dams. He defeated Omos at WrestleMania. He put the pass behind him with Kevin Owens at SummerSlam and that no holds barred. But now Lesnar picks his own fight. He wants that win back. Almost how we talked about Becky Lynch and Asuka, sometimes it's just about the wins and the losses and the bragging rights that come with them. Brock Lesnar wants to make an emphatic statement tonight inside of the steel cage, prove that Riddle's win back in May was a fluke, and prove that he is still the most feared athlete from bell to bell. And up the ante, the steel cage that lowers, that surrounds the ring, that'll trap these two fighters. And here we go, the bell has sounded and we are underway. The reason for the steel cage tonight has been witnessed over the last couple of weeks on Raw. Brawls in the ring, at ringside, on the stage, off the stage. Riddle and Lesnar have been at each other's throats ever since Lesnar ambushed Riddle on the night after SummerSlam, and it has led to this. Four weeks later, the bro and the beast and a steel cage to be settled. And Brock Lesnar, off that early offense from Riddle, I'm sure is coming with an A plan, a B plan, a C plan, just to ensure he's ready for whatever different tactic Riddle might try to throw at him tonight. It's the first time since February that Riddle finds himself in a live premiere event without the WWE Championship. It's got to feel a little different for Riddle, but maybe a win over Lesnar tonight can put him back in the conversation for the WWE title. But Brock Lesnar is not looking to allow that. Ragdolling Riddle all over this ring. Not afraid to bring the stallion of Raw to suplex City. He's done it before and he will do it again. And I got a feeling this time in the most violent way with this solid steel cage surrounding him. And as this matchup progresses, we will focus on the action in a moment. We want to once again thank you for joining us all weekend long at the Cruiserweight Classic at No Mercy last night. Unforgiven tonight. We'll be back for Monday Night Raw tomorrow in Green Bay, Wisconsin as we kick off the road to Clash at the Castle next month. And Matt Riddle meets the steel cage, flesh on steel for the very first time. Brock Lesnar is going to use this cage as a weapon. It's one thing to be in the ring with Lesnar. That's already an intimidation factor. But now trap him with nowhere to go, putting an animal in a cage. This is something you see at a zoo. But Matt Riddle is going to keep fighting until the cows come home. And a big time springboard looking for the early victory. I'll be trying to knock Lesnar out just long enough to get the three and escape. 
what could be Riddle's toughest battle of his WWE career. We've seen a lot of them tonight. New champions crowned in the Brawling Brutes. LA Knight retaining his Intercontinental title. Becky Lynch moments ago getting that much awaited victory over the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and still Sheamus and Seth Rollins for the WWE title in your main event. Brock Lesnar, my goodness. Lesnar is hell bent on taking the head off the shoulders of Matt Riddle here tonight, I assure you. Lesnar came into this with a plan. We saw what he did to Kevin Owens in No Holds Barred last month. Not that it was a landslide by any means, but Lesnar certainly up the ante in the most hardcore fashions. I mean, an F5 threw a table at one point last month in Levi Stadium. And now in the confines of the cage, those knuckles to the forehead of Matt Riddle. That is not good. See, Matt Riddle's already starting to be tired. The fatigue is setting in as Brock Lesnar, Sue, Plex City in mine. Brock Lesnar is a shark that smells blood in the water, but Lesnar's playing with his food right now. It's like the appetizer before dinner for Brock Lesnar. You can't underestimate Matt Riddle. He better bring the fight as we are witnessing. Cannot allow a mistake because Riddle will take advantage. So far, I mean, this has been 90% Brock Lesnar, 10% Matt Riddle for my, eye, for my eyes. Again, a closed fist. Lesnar is looking to incapacitate the original bro tonight. Oh, wait a minute, I think, I think Matt Riddle might have been busted wide open off those last set of knuckles. Not exactly sure from our vantage point, but if so, oh yeah, I believe Matt Riddle has been cut wide open. And that is not going to go well for the endurance of Riddle. Fatigue is already setting in. Damage is already starting to play a factor. And if Riddle is showcasing his wounds on the top of his forehead, Brock Lesnar is going to see that target. He's going to inflict punishment on it. Oh, my goodness. The momentum that Riddle was just sent into the beams of the cage with. It is not meant for a mortal being. But Brock Lesnar doesn't give a damn. This is a beatdown here in Chicago right now. I do not like Riddle's chances right now. This, this may get uncomfortable, folks. You might want to put the kids to bed early tonight because Brock Lesnar, I said it before, I'll say it again. This, this, this animal's just playing with his food right now. Riddle's busted wide open. Brock Lesnar's just savoring this beatdown that he's been waiting for since May 14th in Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance when Riddle beat him to retain his WWE title. Power bomb with emphatic force. The power, the strength of Lesnar. Riddle is struggling. Every move that Lesnar inflicts, Riddle is having a harder and harder time getting to his feet. Unless it's that time, Lesnar just ragdolling Riddle to his feet. Not by will, by force. The same force that just sent Riddle into the solid steel cage. It is not meant for human flesh. And Riddle with a kick to the rib cage. Riddle's trying to come alive. Couple of shots. Never count out the stallion of Monday Night Raw. Big time need a Lesnar. Can Riddle get back in control of this matchup? I don't know, obviously some massive damage already done. Riddle's been busted wide open. His fatigue is going to set in even earlier. Lesnar has yet to meet the cage. And Riddle's met it on multiple occasions by now. Cage or not, Riddle's going to keep swinging. Looking for that home run. Looking for that knockout blow. Going for the cover. And Lesnar gets the shoulder up. Remember the modern rules of these steel cage matches. No eliminations, just pinfall or submission. The goal is to keep the men inside the cage and settle the score decisively. And that is what we will see here tonight at Unforgiven. Lesnar with a reversal. Oh my goodness. Just imagine a gorilla headbutting you dead on. That is basically what Brock Lesnar just did to Matt Riddle. And he's not done yet. Open palms into the lariat. With someone the strength behind Lesnar, you know that isn't just taking the wind out of you for a second or two. That's going to knock the wind out of Riddle for multiple minutes. Lesnar is back on the offense. Wait a minute, go for German suplex here, and Riddle able to get out of it. 
Nice wherewithal by Riddle. Riddle's got a chance to prove his toughness, prove his intestinal fortitude all over again in his rise back to possibly challenging for the WWE Championship. We apologize for the voice, but a long weekend. The voice is going to go by Monday Night Raw tomorrow. Matt Riddle just trying to keep things going. A couple of close fists of his own on Lesnar. How many of them direct, directly landed where Riddle wanted them to, I don't know, but nonetheless, Riddle has at least got Lesnar down for the moment. Well documented, it's one thing to knock Lesnar off his feet, it's another thing to keep him there. Wait a minute, Riddle, kick to the side of the head. Oh, Riddle, this is very daring of the original bro, looking for that submission hold, trapping up the beast. Riddle's trying to tap out Lesnar in almost this MMA-style fight here tonight in Chicago. The two men with those MMA backgrounds, Lesnar, a former UFC heavyweight champion, and he knows a way to get out of the submission if need be. He knows where Lesnar went to get out of that submission. He went to the bloody head, the crimson mask of Riddle, but Riddle's still trying to come alive and rally Windy City behind him. And getting the two, but Lesnar kicks out. Man, that one second makes such a difference. Now Riddle, this is what he's got to do with whatever's left in the tank at this point in the match. Trying to throw everything at Lesnar. Can't leave anything on the table behind. Tonight, excuse me, you got to leave it all on the line. All in is the original bro here in Chicago. Oh, and Rizzle with a bare elbow. Did you see that? Not only was he going for the closed fist, but Riddle elected for the elbow shot to Lesnar. Oh, wait a minute. I think Brock might have been busted open off that elbow. Oh, man. Well, certainly the tide's shifting in an interesting direction. Lesnar smells blood. And it's not just Riddle's anymore. It's his. But did that just wake up the beast incarnate? I don't know, man. Riddle busted Lesnar wide open. The crimson mask is flowing. Will that be a detriment to Brock? Or will it only light the fire within the beast incarnate? Riddle's avoiding that cage at all costs, and Lesnar just gonna rag doll into the mat with a simple lariat. Beatdown commences. This is this is what we expected. The violence between Letter, Lesnar and Riddle here tonight. We knew something had to give. We knew tensions were gonna boil over. It's Brock setting Riddle a ton upon the top rope. I don't know what the beast has got in mind. Very rarely do we see him scale the ropes in any capacity here. Sending Riddle for a ride. Over halfway across the ring, Riddle's body just was thrown by the Beast Incarnate. And Lesnar's not done. Lesnar could have easily went for the cover there, possibly won this matchup. I guess it's more tonight about just, not just victory for Lesnar. He wants that win, but he's have to make a statement to Matt Riddle. Oh, and it cost him there. Can't underestimate the former WWE Champion. Held that title for WrestleMania SummerSlam for a reason. A little being set in the corner. Brock Lesnar once again on his tail. Riddle avoids it again. As Lesnar maybe trying to throw him to the other side of the canvas yet again. Sense of urgency out of Riddle. Both these men are just swinging with anything they got. Lesnar whiffing that lariat. Riddle's luck pays him dividends there. Lesnar goes to the corner and there's an elbow strike. This is straight up a fight from pillar to post. A Chicago street fight contained inside this steel cage. And Riddle, wait a minute. Could we go for a cutter there, but Lesnar countered in a big time power slam. I don't know if anybody can match the strength of the beast. And Riddle found that out firsthand. Lesnar once again. Every time Lesnar gets in control, the pace slows down. The Allstate Arena is a quiet hum. It's almost uncomfortable watching Lesnar inflict this damage on Matt Riddle. And Riddle is hurt. Oh, goodness. Slingshotted from the top rope into the cage. That could be a concussion there for Matt Riddle. That is not good. Wait a minute. Lesnar with the German. And he's yet to release. Looking to bring Riddle to Sue Plex City. Matt Riddle, his body is basically lifeless inside of the ring, and Brock Lesnar still is not going for the pinfall. The son of a bitch, Brock Lesnar, just end the damn match. 
Riddle's only got so much left in the tank. I mean, I'm not trying to doubt him here. He can always mount a comeback, but Lesnar... Oh, thought he's had the belly to belly. There you go. There's Riddle. Nice takedown on the beast. Throwing a couple elbows. Enough to get Lesnar weary. He's got Brock backed up in the corner and again. Lesnar with the reverse and dragged on Riddle into the post. Back on the top rope. Brock already sent Riddle for a ride. What has he got in mind now? He's just looking to do it again. Well, this time, different position. Superplex to Matt Riddle. Riddle has got to be in excruciating pain right now. Lesnar still not going for the cover. Wait a minute, Lesnar. With an F. Five on Matt Riddle. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Go for the damn cover, Brock. Lesnar's, go Lesnar's going for the Kimura. He wants to break the arm of Matt Riddle in the process of winning this match. Oh, Riddle able to reverse it. Oh my goodness, sense of adrenaline, sense of urgency. And Riddle going for the cover. Only a one butt. What has Riddle got in there? What is coming alive right now? Blood still not only flowing out of the body of Riddle, but flowing through the veins. And adrenaline is fueling the original bro to keep on fighting tonight at the Allstate Arena. But how much does Riddle realistically have left in the tank? He just took an F5. Lesnar had that Kimura in for a couple of seconds before Riddle rolled out of it. Oh my goodness, and another German. It's just the story of this matchup. Every time Matt Riddle tries to get an advantage, get Chicago rallied behind him. Brock Lesnar just turns the tides in a snap of the fingers. Is absolutely having his cake and eating it too tonight. Just end the damn match. He could have went for the cover after the F5. If Riddle wasn't in the position and been so familiar with that Kimura lock, I mean, any normal man would have given up in that spot. Riddle just happens to have that MMA background paid him dividends that time. He knows a thing or two about this, the full mount from Lesnar as we've seen multiple times throughout this match. Riddle's hurting, man. This is not going well for Matt Riddle. And it's not gonna go well for Matt Riddle moving forward. Win, lose, or draw tonight here at Unforgiven. How does one continue to press forward on Monday Night Raw? This is a fight that these two men will never be the same from, especially Matt Riddle. But the man is still coming alive. There's something left in the tank. I don't know if it's blood, I don't know if it's adrenaline. I don't know if it's just the will to win. But an absolute desperate time for Matt Riddle in this match. Just doing anything he can, trying to beat Brock Lesnar down. Now the stomps of the heart of the beast. Oh, but Lesnar moves out of the way. Riddle caught him with a kick. Riddle caught him with a shot. Riddle's got to take advantage. Rip toward me. Go for the cover, Riddle. Riddle's getting fired up, and the Windy City is behind him. Wait a minute. Feed trigger knee by Matt Riddle. And he's not done. What's Riddle got in mind? Going to the top. Floating bro by the original bro. Go for the cover. Not just yet. What is Riddle doing? Riddle's almost, I don't want to say making the same mistake as Brock, but Brock could have easily went for the cover by now. And he, I think he left the window open for Riddle to mount this comeback. But Riddle's got to take advantage. Go for the pin, go for the kill while you got the beast wounded. Off the floating, bro, off the knees. And now the elbow shots. Just trying to incapacitate the beast incarnate. Well, there was a reversal there by Lesnar. Riddle with a couple of shots. DDT by the bro. Now Riddle's got a window of opportunity here. And he better strike while the iron's hot. Now wait a minute. Riddle's going submission hold, possibly. Oh my god, almost a figure four variation here. Lesnar is hurt. Lesnar's wounded. Riddle could be going for the submission or possibly a pass out of pain for the beast. Lesnar trying to hold on and oh. Trying to take out the open legs of Riddle. And there's a shot right to the open wound. That may have been Riddle's best shot right there. As Brock Lesnar, the Beast, has a low get in this match. Fisherman suplex. Riddle brought to his feet. And Lesnar going for a second. Look at that image. F5. A bloody Beast. 
to a bloody bro. And a three count. Wow. I have no words. That was a cold-hearted display of brutality. Riddle did it his damnedest. He tried. He gave it his all to keep down Brock, but Lesnar was just a different animal tonight, a different beast tonight. And there's no way he was outlasting the warpath of the beast incarnate. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. That is a scary image with blood trickling from an open wound, but the beast is still standing. Brock Lesnar just sent an emphatic statement, not just to Monday Night Raw, but to all of WWE, that the Beast is back and he hasn't come to play games. A display of violence tonight in Chicago, and Brock Lesnar gets the victory he was hoping for inside the steel cage. When I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.